<laughs> so what are you guys? We're part of the Sparkwood family. Uh, this one, you, for the MCAT, it might even be enough to do the big three. But this is not that much of a stretch. I'm going to do all six. Okay. So first there are the big three divisions. And then inside of each division, there are two. So let's, uh, what do we call? But the, the big divisions are the ones that get the names. This is called pre-conventional. Bless you. Oops. Conventional. So pre-conventional morality. Uh, think of the most primitive thing. You're dealing with your parents. What do you think is the, the, as a little kid, what's the first thing you're going to try to do? Like, <laughs> nope, as a little kid, what's the first thing you, what's your, the suckle. simplest impulse? Fight. Aside from suckle. <laughs> Attack your parents, punch them. Attack your parents, punch them. No. <laughs> you want to avoid punishment. Uh -oh. So when you think of pre-conventional, think of your primary caregivers. And you want to avoid punishment. Okay. I still have to sand this more because what's happening is, is that there are little grooves here, so it's capturing the chalk. Okay, avoid punishment. You don't just do things to avoid punishment. So I guess according to Kohlberg, the next step up is don't just seek to avoid punishment, but also seek to gain what? Gain reward. Okay, but now we're going to go to conventional. Even though there's no exact stamp on this, I think a good way to think of this is not about your parents anymore, it's about your peers. So when you interact with your peers, don't you want to reiterate one and two with your peers? But you've already learned to avoid punishment and gain reward, right? So just com combine them. So you learn to avoid bad stuff and to gain what? Good stuff, approval. So approval, usually social approval from your peers. So you want to avoid looking bad and you want to gain looking good. Right? You want them not to say, oh, that was bad. You want them to applaud you. That's, that's pretty self-explanatory. Does everybody agree it's basically just like one and two? But now you're dealing more with like your peers and social approval and stuff like that. Now you've gone to the next level, which isn't just about your friends. It's about strict rules of law and order. Okay, that's it. And the next one is obviously what? Not pre-conventional, but post-conventional. I don't know if that's one word or not, but whatever. Okay, so post-conventional. You probably studied this in school. In Law and Order, version number, the first version we saw, you don't know why, you don't care why, you just follow it because it's the law. So what they tell you to do, everybody seems to agree to it, and it must have good reason, so you do it. But then what's the higher level, apparently, of moral decision making? You do follow Law and Order, but why? Not because you should do it, or because you know, that's the rule and you get punished or rewarded, da da da, but because what? You, you understand that law and order is a social contract. You don't do it just because you're going to get punished or rewarded. You do it because you understood that nothing is forcing you to do it. But if you didn't do it, then, everybody, then there'd be chaos and everybody would get less done. So everybody gets more done or benefits if you follow the social contract, which leads to law and order. Okay. But then, what's the highest level, supposedly? And Kohlberg did argue that a lot of people did not get here. A lot of people don't even get here, he thinks. Which is what? Yeah, you have a higher moral, moral order that's more abstract, and it's your own personal ethical code. So it's a higher, more abstract moral order. So maybe I should put higher moral code. It is a bit abstract, and it is um, personal to you. So own. Personal. So you're a nice person not because there's some social contract and if you didn't follow it, everybody would be killing everybody, but because regardless of all that crud, some things are just right. You have your own personal evaluation in some abstract ethical sense, like this is right to do and this is wrong to do. And then you can get yourself a moral philosophy degree. We'll talk about this, okay? So. Well, oh, you know what? Let's do one more thing. My bad. That would mean you're kind of neurotic and somewhat extroverted. So you're here? You're introverted? Oh. Okay, so delusional is another term too. No? Okay, so you're slightly <laughs> introverted. Yeah, okay. 
ہاں 